This is an Alan Bradley Panelville Plus 7. The model number is 2711P-B7C22D9P. It is the Performance 1 Series B. It is the brand new one. I just got it out of the box. Let's power it up. From the Welcome to Panelview Plus screen, we need to click Next. And then we will need to set up the administrator password. After creating the administrator password, you should write it down and do not ever lose it. If you lose it, to reset the administrator password, you will have to factory default the HMI and you will have to lose all the HMI firmware and application. Next. Next again, save and reboot. The next step is to update the firmware for the HMI. To get the firmware, first go to rockwellautomation.com website. Under support, go to drivers and firmware. Then type in Panelview Plus 7. Select the first one for performance. Select Series B. Select the latest one, 12.105. Click download. Check for firmware only. Download. Download now. After downloading was completed, you should get this zip file.
copy these 14 cabinet files and paste them into the root of the USB drive Unplug the USB from the computer and plug it into the HMI Update from USB storage. Do not remove the USB storage device while copying files. Are you sure you want to continue? Okay. It is now safe to remove the USB storage device. Continue. OK. This step will take a while. We now can remove the USB from the HMI
the HMI firmware update took about 10 minutes to be completed. Now we have to set the password for Windows CE desktop. Let's connect the HMI to the network before we can set the IP address for the HMI. Networks and communications. Network connections, network adapters, IP address, no for the HCP. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot one hundred will be the IP for the HMI subnet mask two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and yeah. okay. Close, close. The HMI now still have the default IP address. We will need to power cycle the HMI before it can take the new IP address. We can see the new IP address show up now. It's now ready to load and run an MER file. To turn on VNC Viewer first, select Exit and a password. It is the password for Windows CE Desktop. Any, any.
at the low left corner, select the gear for settings. At the low left corner, select the gear for settings. And then select services. Scroll down, look for VNC, remote client access. Now we need to enter the administrator password. Okay, it's on now. Expand it. Now we need to set a password for full control or view only. Save password. Administrator password again. Continue. VNC password site. Let's connect the HMI to my computer to check VNC viewer. Let's check my computer Ethernet adapter to make sure it can see the HMI. Everything is good. Let's open VNC Viewer. And uh, the HMI IP address 192.168.0.1. And uh, the password for VNC viewer. Okay. So VNC is working now. Thank you for watching.